Altair's rune. This is it. We're inside. But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. Travel room. But why is the floor on the ceiling? Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Use the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh. Right next to the Udenon door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. One inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like more giant. Art. Whatever it's here did for them must have been big. for Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. What's moving? Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All right. Do you... what now? Statues. I see them. It says void. Hmm. Ominous. Go on. Read. Before the first, after the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Oh. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach them, whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable. Not 
sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to Jotunheim. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. Here, boy. Another one. It says his name is Bergomir. I think Mother said he was the King of the Giants? Aye, that he was. And quite a bit more. Looks like he had a lot of kids. That, little brother, is what we call an understatement. He's dead, but nobody killed him. Do giants die from old age? They may, though it's rare among the legends. Again with the death traps. Go! I've got, brother. Why don't you let the lad carry me for a while? And let you miss this. No. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Hmm. Time to do what you do, brother. Leave them in peace. Obviously not referring to us.
Ah, it's the other kind. Variety is so important. I truly do hate this part. I know.
I really do hate this pop. I know. One never doubted. Right. <laughs>
until gods grow good. Could be quite a week. No. They're just waiting for us. sound normal. I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just trying to be helpful. Answer, I'll be quite happy to be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That's a plus. There, on the left. I think we can climb back up to the realm travel room from there. See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Yodenhoff. Do you hear that, brother? Lads found his equilibrium. What's that mean? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look, the tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore.
Roy, your knife. Well, what have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great are Dumbler's others. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this. In the panel in Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. So you're saying Tyr's shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the world tree. And you're thinking, to reach the secret path to Jotunheim, that's what we need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find your own path, right? Bollocks. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith head. How can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great! Look! The tower! I knew there was something down here! Amazing! How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between! Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that! It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard Peak! But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening. Is it moving? It's moving. It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. it smells like Nifo. Oh no, this is considerable. Oh.
broken, are we? Oh, looks like Alphonse. Or not. Oh dear, here they come. Ah! <laughs> 
Aye, but where are we? Look! We're back in Midgar! There's the bridge! We did it! The tower's back where it belongs! Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giants secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence, the stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. And look, now we can finally light all the braziers and see what happens. Another name. Gloindo. Someone who loved the Valkyries enough to do this? I wonder. Perhaps the Queen? You take a wrong turn, brother. Realm travel rooms back up top. We might have last minute stuff we want to do before we leave. Who knows how long we'll be gone? Fair enough. Where were we then? Oh, yes, my first job. My first master was a cool piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy and unofficial jester. You know what? I'll tell this one later. That dragon, it's Baldur's, isn't it? Yes. And you brought it down, to save me? It was very heroic. Let's see my first job. Right. Me and my mates in the employ of a fairy king. By night, my mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows, they called us. Never spikes to the last. Get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. Oh. And one day he was not amused. And I saw fit to move on. Thankfully, the ages and roads travelled since then have turned me from that merry wanderer into the paragon of virtue you see before you today. Another name. Hilder. Why the arcane runes? Perhaps we're meant to find something in Muspelheim and Niflheim.
How'd you come to be in these lands? Lad, there comes a time in every man's life when he changes his name and heads north to make a new start. If you live long enough to do this many times over, you might end up as far north as this place. By the time I arrived, I already knew Odin by his reputation, and so I set to demonstrate my worth by coming to him with something I knew he'd value. A mystic well of knowledge. You know what? I'll tell this one later. I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. isn't going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. Any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot. For years, I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> he wanted me to build a... <laughs> he showed it to me, you see, and I... <laughs> the coin. Sorry. Will you... Excuse me? Oh. Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the oh. lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! We better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. 
Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. But now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready. Once more to the horn! Let's sort you out. open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? Well, by the by, he's not wild about it either. Good idea? No. Well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in a giant's belly either. How about you, Father? Never one that was not trying to eat me. You really should expect that sort of response at this point. about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Huh. 
Smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. A bit like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. Okay, so weird. There's something down there. <sighs> the water kind of burns in here. That is water, isn't it? Aye. Most of it. There, the hammer. Idea where Odin hid your eye? No, it's not like I can still see through it. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally! We're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term, tempting fate? Fate is another lie told, told by, by the gods. gods. Yes, of course. You really are your father's son, you know. Out. We signal. Hold on! What's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good! Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. 
couldn't agree more, brother. Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! Freya. We can still trust her. Certain. Keep a distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling hurting. The big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel? <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? I hate you. I hate you. 
do you two care about this? Get out of my way! No. You might want to turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! no! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> I can feel this. Oh. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh, no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now. of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. She controlling that thing? Stay out of it. I can reason with him. No, woman. You cannot. He means to kill you. You can't stop me. No one can. Where is he? I don't care if he kills me. I will protect him. I will not let him die. Don't touch him. This will all be over soon. There! Win! Ah. 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 
Atreus! Atreus! I'm up here! I'm okay! And I'm doing wonderful! Why, I've never felt so alive! Stop this! Even the Allfather himself could not. I've never felt more alive! Uh, ironic, isn't it?
Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa <sighs> I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. <sighs> Never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right. I won't stop you. I know. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner 
of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. Everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy, listen close. I'm from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. Hmm. We should finish this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful. But its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. <laughs>